continue what we were talking about with uh, data structures. So we're going to be implementing uh, a stack, a queue, and a linked list. So just to remind everyone of what's happening, so a stack is a last in, first out structure. It's like a stack of plates. You have a stack of plates, you can only take the top. You can only take the top one off, and you can only add another plate to the top. Right? You can't access the bottom or the middle of the, of the stack. With a queue, um, there are two openings. So you can insert something from the, the bottom, uh, and you can take something off from the top. So it's like a normal line when we think of you know, uh, just waiting in line for something. And, and a linked list is a more complicated uh, type. So it's, got, it's composed of nodes. So those are the units. And the nodes are connected by uh, by references. So no, a node has data and then a node has a reference to the next node. So let's go ahead and try implementing those. So we're going to start with a stack. So um, we can write our own custom, custom data types in Python. Um, so there are a number of methods that are kind of uh, necessary for a given data structure, and there are some that maybe are secondary or useful. Uh, but I think this is this is a pretty good example of the core functionality. So the real uh, important things that you need for a stack is push and pop, and then peak and is empty are also commonly there, but they're I'd say of secondary importance depending on your implementation. So the let's just look at a description of the methods. So push should should add something to the top, pop should remove something from the top, uh, peak should check the top element, and is empty should tell me if the stack is empty or not. So nothing terribly complicated here, and we have this all uh, started for us. We have stack, we have all these methods that we need. So for the uh, init, what we're gonna add here is, this is gonna be kind of our underlying uh, our underlying storage, our underlying, underlying container that we're going to use. And there are several options, but just to keep things simple, we'll, we'll use uh, a Python list. So self.store equals a list. All right. And so basically what we're going to be doing is making like a wrapper, a custom wrapper around the Python built-in list and the this custom object that we make is only going to have the functionality that we that we give it. So we won't be able to insert something in the middle, or just uh, won't even be able to to loop over it. In fact, as it's written right now. So you can only do the things that we specifically tell it to do. So push uh, and add something to the top. Okay. So we can implement this pretty easily, I think. So we'll do self .store push. And we'll push the uh, the elements that we want. So that's fairly straightforward. Pop also fairly straightforward. So remove something from the top. Self uh, dot store dot pop, and we'll uh, return this one in case we need to do something with it. Okay. Oh, this is, yeah, sorry, append. Right. So, uh, right, self.store.append. So that's the built in Python. And we're basically aliasing that to, to push. Okay, so now we have peak. So check the top element. So peak. We'll do return self.store. Uh, and we'll do negative one. So that's the, the last, you know, the most recent. So we're adding things to the end. Uh, so the last thing will be the, the one on top. Uh, and then is empty. So that's fairly straightforward. Return. Um,
actually, yeah, so that will be equal. So if the length of store is zero, then we know that it's empty, it'll return true. Otherwise, it'll return false. So that's pretty much it. Uh, it's not too painful. So we have a stack and we can only uh, put in and take out things from one from one place. And we can see what the next thing is and we can know if it's empty. So let's go ahead and create an instance and see if this works. So S equals stack. And we'll try putting some things on. So S dot push to four. And we'll do this a couple times. Four, five, six. And we can go ahead and let's do peak. So we should be seeing six. Okay, so we've pushed some things onto the stack and now we can see peak. What happens if we try to, you know, <clears throat> try to get the length or something of S. So put, okay, interesting. So uh, object of type stack has no length. So what we've done is since we've created our own object, we're not inheriting from, uh, we're inheriting from object, we're not inheriting from, let's say, uh, Python's list or anything like that. We don't get, we don't get this stuff for free. So we don't get the built-in list support uh, as it's written right now. We could of course inherit from list and then get that support, but the way we're doing right now, we don't have that. So this is very, very custom uh, restricted data type. And so let's try popping something off. We'll do print stop pop. And then we'll try to peek again. So we should see five the second time. Okay, so it looks like that's working. Um, so we'll, we'll check out uh, an implementation of this. Uh, in, a, in another video, but for right now, this is how you would implement a stack, okay? So you get a bunch of methods you have to do. If this is now a data structure, and you can uh, come up with your own implementation. All right, so we'll do the same thing with Q, except this time I would like you to take, you know, 10 or 15 minutes maybe, and see if you can uh, come up with your own implementation of a queue. So just, uh, we'll, we'll go over the methods here. So on queue needs to add to the beginning of uh, a queue. DQ needs to remove from the end of the queue. Peak needs to check the, the next value that's in line to be removed. And is empty, we'll check if the queue is empty. So pause the video here, take 10 minutes or so and try to come up with an implementation. Okay, so hopefully you've given it, uh, given it a good college try and we'll go ahead and do one now and you can see if, you know, if yours matches or how, how yours is different. So self, we'll, come, we'll, we'll do the same thing we did with uh, stack. It'll actually be very similar to stack. So um, come up with like just a store That'll be an array, so we'll use that as kind of our underlying storage. And then on queue, so we're gonna have to put something into the uh, beginning of the array. So not the end, but the beginning. So self.store. Dot, um, insert. And it should be the zero. So I believe that that's correct. We'll, uh, we'll see if it works, but yeah. So we'll be inserting at the very beginning, so the zeroth index, uh, and we'll insert the array there. 
Now when we take something off, we do the, the opposite. It's actually very similar to uh, popping from, uh, from the stack. So self.store.pop. So we take stuff off from the uh, end. And we'll return that as well. And peak. So the, uh, the thing that's next in line to come off will be at the end of the array. So again, this will be very similar to what we did for stack. So uh, return self.store negative one at the end. And then is empty, you can do the same thing. So return len self.store is zero. Okay, we'll save that and, well, we don't really have anything to run, but uh, let's try creating an instance and see if it works. So Q equals uh, Q -E -E. And we'll do Q dot on Q. Six, seven, can run that. Okay, we're not printing anything yet, so let's print uh, peak Q. Okay, we get uh, five, so that makes sense, right? We put this on. This is the first one in. So this is the first guy in line, the second guy in line, the third guy in line. So the first guy in line is gonna be the first one to come out. So peak should show us five. So let's go ahead and DQ. So print. Okay. And then we'll peak again. That should give us six. So printing five and then six right here. So that's basically it for Q as well. So we have, uh, we looked at stack, which has push, pop, peak, and is empty, and Q, which has on Q, DQ, peak, and is empty. So very, very similar implementations, although they are different data types with different use cases. Okay, so we'll do, uh, we'll do one more now. We'll take a look at the linked list. So we've looked at stacks, looked at queues. Now we're gonna look at the linked list, which is gonna be a little bit different. Okay, so linked list. Uh, the first thing we're gonna need, need to notice is that uh, a list is composed of nodes. So we have a complex structure, right? We have a bunch of nodes, and then they're contained in this linked list. So we have a node. Uh, the node is going to have data, and then the next node. Or we could do, let's call it data for consistency's sake. Okay, so we have a node with, it'll have data and next, whatever the, the next node is. And then we have the, the linked list itself. Um, and the linked list is, we want it to be able to insert. Again, there are, you know, uh, we could have several different methods or maybe even fewer, but uh, this, is, this is a good sampling for what a linked list should be able to do. So you can insert, add a node to the beginning, right? So remember, so unlike, um, unlike a Python array, when you add something to the beginning, this is uh, an O of one operation. So we'll insert something Insert a node at the beginning, we can search, we can find a node with a given value. And when we search, unfortunately, we're gonna have to start from the very beginning and then go all the way through. So that'll be uh, O of N complexity. So however many nodes we have, worst case scenario, we have to look at all of them individually. We can't access a particular, uh, particular value like we can with an array. And then size will return the total number of nodes that we have in our linked list. This is, you know, optional, but, um, or maybe of uh, secondary importance. So uh, inserting is, is really the important part. Okay, so let's go ahead and build our node first. So we've got, uh, it's gonna have data, 
let's change this to data. So self that data is data, and this could be, you know, we'll probably just use numbers, but this could be anything, like it could be an object, it could be a number, it could be a string, and we'll do self dot next is, well, we don't know what the next one's gonna be yet. So this is just kind of a placeholder, so we'll, we'll start with none. We can always change that later. Okay, so now we have our node. So our node now has data and next, should look like this, okay? When we go to the linked list, so what do we need in the linked list? Well, there's a couple, um, there's a couple things we could think about. So we see here that they're like, not every node is entirely equal. Um, so there's a head node here and notice this node on the end doesn't have a next node, right? So that's, that's something um, that, that might be significant. So we, we're probably gonna want, we have a head node and a bunch of other nodes and the node at the end doesn't have a, a link to the, the next one. But we have to start somewhere, right? If we don't have a starting point for our linked list, then we can't do anything really. So we're gonna have to basically when we create our linked list, we're gonna to have to pick a node that's gonna be the uh, the head. So self.head, and for now, we don't have one since we haven't created a linked list or anything. Um, so we can just set that as none for now. Okay, now insert. So in order to, to insert a node, we wanna insert at the very beginning. So basically what we want to do is replace uh, the head node. So if, if the head node exists, then replace it. That's essentially what we're doing. So we'll do um, self.value. I'll change this to data to keep it consistent. Okay, so now we can insert, we can have uh, a new node. There's a few ways of uh, implementing this. We'll have our linked list itself be responsible for creating new nodes. So that will be uh, node data. So that's what we need. So if we want to insert a node, we're gonna have to create a node. So our linked list will create uh, a new node based on the data that it's supplied to the, the insert method. And then we'll uh, keep a reference. So we're basically gonna do a switch. So we'll keep a, a third kind of uh, dummy term around so that we can do this. So old node is self.head. So we have, uh, we've created a new node. We now can hold on to this uh, self.head because we're gonna change it here in a minute because this new node is gonna become the new self.head but we need to, we don't just wanna get rid of, we don't have, wanna have to delete something in order to insert something. So we're gonna have to keep track of that. And then we'll do self.head is gonna be the new node. And finally, we're gonna have to change uh, the heads next so now, now we have a new head and we have this other node that's been displaced. So let me, um, so if, if we want to insert, so we, we have a new node. Now this is the head, but our next needs to refer to the element, to the node that we just replaced. So it may be a little bit confusing, but um, yeah, I'm sorry, that's just how it is. So this, the new element that we've just inserted is gonna be the new head, and the new head needs to now refer to the, uh, the, previous, the previous head. So self.head.next is old node. All right, so let's go ahead and let's just try, so we've got some stuff uh, working right now. So insert, insert, insert. 
for now, we'll do that. Python list. So no errors, that's good. And let's just see if we can print. Um, ll dot head should be an object and dot uh, data okay so that's what we expect so we insert we insert we insert every time we insert we replace the head and then we uh, we align this new heads next to be the old head so we we point our new head at the previous head. All right, so now we have insert taken care of, so we need to, I think search would be the next the next thing we need to do. So for um, search, what we can do is, uh, so we need to start at the, start at the head and then work our way down. So we'll start at the head, um, we'll start at the head and basically say, is there a next node, uh, i.e. is next node something other than none? Um, if there is a next node, then we got to keep moving. Um, and so, so, and uh, the same thing, when we get to, we get to the next node, we say, is, does this node have a next? If so, then we keep going. And we, if we get to the end, we say, does this have a next node? And the answer is no, then we know we're, we're at the very end, right? So that's just basic linked list traversal. And we'll see that again when we uh, when we write the the get size function. But in order to insert, or sorry, in order to search, we're gonna have to traverse as well. So we'll traverse and then we'll check. So traverse. We'll start. Uh, we'll start here. We'll check is this data what we're looking for? If not, does, does is there a next node? If yes, then we repeat the process all over again. We check the data. Is the data we're looking for? Uh, if yes, then we're done. If no, then we check. Does this have a next node? If the answer is yes, then we move on to the next node, and so on and so on. So uh, we could do this recursively or iteratively. I'm just going to do it iteratively, but feel free to uh, take your hand at a, a recursive solution if that's what you would like to do. So first thing we're gonna do is, uh, so, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll just test for an edge case where there, uh, we don't have anything in our list yet. So if self.head is none, then we'll return false. And by the way, we'll just, we, we can return whatever we want, but we'll just return false if it's uh, not in the list and true if it is in the list. All right, so else, we're gonna do everything we need to do. So we're gonna do uh, something similar to what we were doing before where we're basically gonna, we're gonna wanna keep track of the current node that we're on and the current node that we're on is gonna change, right? So here, for now, this is our current node and we're gonna see does current node.next exist? If yes, then this is the new current node. So the node.next is the new current node. Here's our new current node. Does the current node.next exist? Yes, then this node is now our current node. So we're gonna have to keep changing what our current node is. So we'll, we can do that with a while loop. So while, so as long as there's a next node, i.e. the next node is not none. So when, when um, sorry, that's not right. Um, Yeah, sorry. Let me let me fix this real quick. So we've got uh, current. To, now we have our current node will be self dot head. So if it's not none, if our head is not none, i.e. there's something at least one thing in our linked list, then that'll be our current node. So that'll be a starting point. And then what we'll do is uh, we'll check if the current node. So we start here. With our, the current node is the head node. We check if it basically exists. It does exist. So then we need to check the data, right? So if if current uh, dot data equals data, 
then actually maybe we should change this to uh, something like that so uh, if current that data equals target then we know we found it so we can just return true otherwise if we uh, if we haven't found it then we're gonna have to repeat ourselves we're, we're gonna have to repeat that same process so while so we, we start here, we check our head node, we start at our head node, we check our data. Is the data our target? Is the data what we're looking for? Uh, if yes, we return and we're done. If not, then we say, hey, is there a next node? Do you have a neighbor? Uh, if the answer is yes, then we move on and then this next node is our current node. So we're going to check for a while uh, current dot next. So as long as there is a, a next node, then we can keep doing this. So current dot, uh, sorry. So current will be current dot next, right? So we've moved over and we've changed what our current node is. And then we have to do the same thing we did above. So if we, we'll, we'll check our data. So if current dot data equals uh, target, return true, whoops, uh, okay, and then if we go through everything and either we reach the end um, or we haven't, just haven't found anything, we return false. Okay, so what we do first, we want to search is we check if there's something to search for in our linked list. It's just an edge case. Uh, the the meat of it here is that whatever node we're on, whatever node we start with is going to be our current node. We check and see if uh, what we're looking for matches the, the current data. And if we don't find it, we need to keep moving. So we need to continue the process. So we'll say, uh, okay, we didn't match data. Do you have a next node? Yes. So then we start over here. Does data match? If no, is there a next node? Yes. So we move on here. And that's what we're doing here. Current continually becomes uh, current dot next as long as uh, this well, as long as we're not at the end of the list, in which case the next node will be none. So then uh, we'll return true if we find it. Otherwise, we'll return false if we go through the whole thing and don't get a hit. All right. So let's do. We'll add uh, search. We'll search for we'll search for three and see if it's in there. So true, so three is in there. If we try to search for four, we should get false. Okay, we get false because there's no four in here. Just one, two, three, four. Okay, so we've got uh, insert. We can insert a node, we can search for a node. Let's go ahead and do get size. So get size will be uh, very similar to search. We're gonna traverse and we'll just keep count of, of every node that we get. So we'll do the same thing. We'll start with our edge case. So if, uh, if self head is none, we will return zero. Okay, that means there's nothing in our list, so it's got a length of zero. Um, otherwise, what we'll do is we'll just do the same thing we were doing before. We have the current node, and then we'll check if there's a next node, and we'll just keep on going. So current is self.head and we can do something we'll keep a, a counter up here uh, equals zero maybe we can just return counter okay so we'll start counter at zero if it's if head is none we'll just return that uh, otherwise we can uh, uh, increment count so counter um, let's see else current is count equals okay so uh, otherwise right so otherwise uh, if it's if there's no head then the length is zero otherwise we set current to the head and then counter 
uh, will be one because we know that there's at least one element there. And then what we're going to do is do a while loop and then just like we did below, current that next. So as long as there keeps being a next. So, um, sorry, getting back to this, we have our uh, get size. So we check and see if the, uh, if the head is none. And if it is, then we return counter, which is initialized to zero. Otherwise, we will make uh, our, our current node the, the head node. And we'll add one to the counter because we know we have at least one. And then what we're going to do is really have to start moving through our list. So just like we did with the search, we'll check like while, while counter.next is not none, essentially. We'll add one to count, and we'll, we'll change our, we'll update our current node. So current equals current.next. And then we only care about the count, so we'll just return, um, yeah, uh, return count, or counter, sorry. So let's check that out. So search, and then we'll comment this out. Okay. I'll leave that alone. And we can see that uh, the size of, we've inserted three things, and it's uh, three, you know, three things big, three nodes long, and, uh, yeah, so that's that's basically it. So this is a basic implementation of linked list where we start with our node and every node has uh, data and a reference to the next node or just, you know, kind of is the next node essentially. And uh, the linked list class itself, it will have a head. So that's the starting point. So basically anytime you want to do anything, you have to start with the, the head. Then we do, uh, we can search through it and Searching is going to be just this common pattern that we go to, it, it, just like iteration. We start with the uh, the head node, we check the data, we check if there's the next node. If there's a next node, then this is our new current node, and we repeat over and over and over again. To be at 1130, 